Hi to all. Welcome to my fourth class on chapter number six, triangles. Today I am going to discuss criteria for similarity of triangles. That is A A A similarity, A A similarity, S S S similarity, and S A similarity. Now let me take two triangles. Let me name it as triangle A B C and P Q R. Now here you can see angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q, and angle C is equal to angle R. And these two triangles sides are in the same proportion. So we can say these two triangles are similar. That is, for similarity of two triangles, two conditions are needed. One is its angles, corresponding angles are equal, and its corresponding sides are proportional. What are the corresponding angles here in these two triangles? Here you can say angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q, angle. C is equal to angle R. Now, what are the corresponding sides? Corresponding sides of AB is equal to PQ. So, its ratio you can write it as AB by PQ. Now, what is the corresponding side of BC? It's, it is QR. So, you can write its ratio as BC by QR. And this ratio are equal. And what is the other ratio? It is AC by PR. That means its corresponding angles are equal and corresponding sides are in the same ratio or proportion. Then these two triangles are similar. So here you can say triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQ. Now this can be represented symbolically as triangle ABC Similar, this symbol is used. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Here, the side AB corresponds to side PQ. Similarly, side BC corresponds to QR and AC corresponds to PQ. So, this order also very important. If you write triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR. In this order, it will not be similar. Now, to check the similarity of two triangles, is it necessary to check all the angles are equal or all the sides are proportional? Let us have a look on it. Here you have two triangles, that is triangle ABC and triangle EFT. Now, look at the angles. Angle A and angle E are equal, angle B and angle F are equal, angle C and angle G are equal. Now, let me check the length of the sides. Here, AC is equal to 8.9 and the corresponding side of AC is EG. That is equal to 11.1. Now, length of AB, it is 4.9. Here, length of EF is 6.1. Here, length of BG is equal to 6.4. And length of FG is equal to 8. Now, let us find out the Ratio of the corresponding sides. What is AC by EG here? AC by EG is equal to AC is equal to 8.9 divided by EG is equal to 11.1. So it is 11.1. That is equal to 0.801. 802 or for one decimal base you can write it as 0 0.8. Now what is 
AB by EF AB by EF is equal to 4.9 by 6.1 What is its value? Here you will get it is 0 0.80 and to 1 place of this value you can write it again it is 0 0.8 and what is BC by FG? BC by FG that is 6.4 divided by 8 that you will get it as 6.4 divided by 8 you will get it as 0 0.8 that means the ratios of the corresponding sides in all the cases are equal. Now let me take another values here. What is AG by EG? That is 12.7 divided by 15.9. It will be 0 0.798. Correct to two places of this man. It is 0 0.80, which is 0 0.8. So let me check AB by EF. AB by EF is equal to 7 divided by 8.8. This is 8.8. That you will get it as 0 0.79. That also equal to 0 0.8 correct to one place of this minute. And here the third case is BC by FG that is 9.2 divided by 11.5 which is equal to 0 0.8. Here also in all the cases you are getting the ratio is equal to 0 0.8 or we can say if you take any case, the ratios of the corresponding sides should be equal. That means all the corresponding angles of one triangle is equal to the corresponding angles of the other triangle. Then these two triangles will be similar. This condition is called AAA similarity criterion and it can be defined as if in two triangles corresponding angles are equal then the corresponding sides are in the same ratio and hence the two triangles are similar. Now, let me take two triangles. Here you have triangle DEF and triangle PQ. Now, let me take the angle E as 60 degree. Angle corresponding angle Q also is equal to 60 degree. Now, let it be now, let angle F be 40 degree and the corresponding angle R also equal to 40 degree. Now, what about the third angle? You know, sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. Here, angle E and angle F is equal to 60 and 40. That means 60 plus 40, 100. What about the angle D? Yes, of course, it is 180 minus 100. This is equal to degree. Here, and will be the same way 180 minus 60 plus 40 that also is equal to 80. That means if two corresponding angles are equal, the third one must be equal. This similarity we can name it as AA similarity, and this we can define it as if in two triangles, two angles of one triangle are respectively equal to two angles of the other triangle, then the two triangles are similar. Now, let me take another case. Here, you have two triangles ABM and DEX. And its sides are given. Let me find out its ratio. A divided by DX. That is 5.88 divided by 7.8. 6, 4. That you will get it as 0 0.769 or connect it to two places of this you can write it as 0 0.77.
Now let me take A B by D E. A B is equal to 4.9 divided by D E is equal to 6.37 and it is equal to 0 0.769 and parallel to two places of this value you can write as 0 0.77. Now, let me find out the ratio of MB by HE. MB is equal to 7.35 divided by HE is equal to 9.56. So, that you will get at 0 0.768828 or carry to do two places of this will can write as 0 0.77. That is here the ratios of all sides are proportional. If sides, all the sides are proportional, what will happen to the angles? Now let me measure the angles. Here angle M you can write as 41.6y and angle D you can get it, angle H you can get it as 41.63 that is that angle M is equal to angle X. Similarly, angle A, angle A you can you will get it as 85.46 and angle D you will get it as 85.46. That means here angle D also equal and the angle E similarly. Angle B you will get it as 52.89 and angle E you will get it as 52.89. That means if the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal, then these angles are also equal. These two triangles are similar. And if you change the size of the triangle, in all the cases you can see that angles are equal. That means if all the sides are proportional, then the triangles will be similar. This we can call it as SSS similarity criteria, and this we can define as if two triangles corresponding sides are the same ratio, then the corresponding angles are equal, and hence the triangles are similar. Now let me consider another case. Here you have triangle ABC and triangle. D E F. Now, measurement of two corresponding sides are given and one included angle also given. Now, let us find out the ratio of those corresponding sides. A C is 5.16 divided by and D F is 6.19. You will get it as 0 0.833 or correct to two places of this value can write as 0 0.83. Now let us find out AB by DE. AB is equal to 4.3 divided by DE is equal to 5.16. That is here also you are getting 0 0.833 or 0 0.83 character to two places of this. That means ratios of two corresponding sides are equal here. And you can see here included angle, that is angle A and angle D, which are equal to 45 degree. That means corresponding sides, two corresponding sides are proportional and the included angle are equal. Now, what about the ratios of the other side? BC you will get it as 3.71 and FE is equal to 4.45. Now let us find out BC by FE. BC by FE is equal to 3.71 divided by 4.45. Here also you are getting 0 0.83 character to two places of this. Here you can see the 
the corresponding sides are proportional. Now, what about the corresponding angles? Here, angle C, you will get it as 55.12, and angle F, you will get it as 55.12. That means both the angles are equal. Now, what about angle B? Here, angle B, you will get it as 79.88 and what about angle E here? Here angle U, E you will get it as 79.88. That means corresponding angles are also equal. So if two of the sides are proportional and the renewal angle are equal, then the two triangles should be similar. This similarity we can call it as S A S similarity criterion, and this we can define as if one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of another triangle, and the sides including these angles are in the same ratio or proportional, then the triangles are similar. This we can call it as S A S similarity criterion. Now let us take the textbook exercise. Here triangles are given, some measurements also given. You have to verify the triangle is similar or not, and if it is similar, write the criterion used to arrive your answer. Here is your answers. Do verify yourself. That's all for today's class. Have a nice day.